they, they should have sat around the table, in my opinion, and thought this out. I know there's legal ramifications. They, they checked with finance, they checked with legal, and they said, well, this is for last year's bonuses before, before COVID came, came into place. But again, the, the perception, the reality out there, you, you nailed it. There's 15,000 people out of work and the big wigs are getting a bonus. Like, you gotta think these things out, guys. You gotta be sitting around the table and think, is this prudent to do, do this? And I understand the legal ramifications. I, I was told that, yeah, the lawsuits would be flying everywhere. We'll save it. Maybe this year, maybe they should forego a bonus. They're making big bucks. You know, maybe you forego a bonus. But I'm going to dig into this deeper. I only had a quick conversation with the chair. I'll, I'll talk to the, the finance minister as well. But uh, it's just not good. It, it is not good at all. People are struggling out there. People working at the casinos. When, when I was down at Windsor yesterday, Brian, the first question I was getting is about casinos. There's couple thousand people that are struggling, can't put food on the table, and they sit back on television and radio and news and listen to these big big wigs, the fat cats I call them, all, all making a fortune, 700 and some odd thousand, and by the way, we're going we're gonna to get a bonus. Guys, think before you start giving out all these bonuses. Like, give me a break. Like, they, they, sometimes they just don't think, for all these big smart guys, they aren't too friggin' smart.